What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about whether or not Modern Warfare is actually good, did it live up to the hype, and should you buy it? So I broke this video down into a TLDR as well as four aspects of multiplayer. And with that said, I just want to let you guys know that this video is going to be strictly a multiplayer review. Um, at the moment, the game has been out for a couple of days and I have strictly been playing multiplayer. Um, from what I've heard, everybody that I've talked to has said that the campaign is one of the best campaigns out of uh, all of the recent Call of Duty games. So I think that it's safe to say that the community as a whole is really loving the campaign I'm probably going to enjoy it myself when I get around to playing it um, but I wanted to focus on just multiplayer because I think that's what a majority of people are going to buy the game for before we jump into it just make sure you slap that thumbs up button subscribe and ring the bell so that way you tell the YouTube algorithms that you are interested in seeing more of my content so the TLDR is that this game is fun a majority of the time it looks good it sounds great it's overall a positive experience and I think personally that it is definitely, definitely better than Black Ops 4, World War 2, and Infinite Warfare. If Infinity Ward goes ahead and patches some of the issues that we talk about in this video, I think it's on track to be as good as Black Ops 3, but I do still think that there's a decent amount of work that Infinity Ward has to do before this really is cemented as one of the better Call of Duties. So the four things we're going to talk about are game modes, maps, weapon balance, and the overall experience of the game. Uh, so let's talk about game modes, right? So the game modes that I've found are actually pretty enjoyable most of the time are free for all search and destroy and cyber attack those three have worked really really well and i think it's because these three game modes limit the amount of time that you can get uh into 2v1 scenarios which in this game with a super fast time to kill um you're probably going to lose almost every single 2v1 uh, scenario these three game modes can be played a little bit slower and i think that's where this entire multiplayer experience shines when you're playing the game slower when you're playing the game a bit more tactical that's when you're going to be having the most fun and getting the most kills when playing modern warfare now domination and tdm is where it gets to be a little bit tricky uh domination if you're playing with a good party and you guys are really focusing on getting a spawn trap set up you can have fun just pub stomping um but a lot of the times that's not going to be the experience a lot of the times you're going to be on the receiving end of the pump stomping if you're just jumping in as a solo player just randomly jumping into the queue domination really needs some work as far as spawn trapping goes uh it's really bad on maps like piccadilly like you really will just get destroyed um if you're playing up against a full party tdm is kind of a 50 50 some maps are fun and enjoyable and consistent other maps are a throw up um it's really hard to say tdm is probably the least consistent out of any call of duty in the past couple of years um it's really really control based like whichever team control some of these maps most are going to be winning by a long shot it's not even going to be a competition once the control is set in place there's no getting out of it um, at this point I'm looking at you Euphrates bridge it's really difficult maps like that where once the enemy team has full control over a partial portion of the map it's pretty much it there's nothing you can do um, and not all maps are like this which is why TDM is kind of 50 50 for me some maps are fun they're enjoyable they're what you expect other maps are just like it feels like you're playing a, a domination or something like that where it's like why can't we break out of this spawn it's ridiculous now ground war has got a lot of people talking right now I personally think ground war needs a lot of work like it really needs a ton of work um the amount of times that i watch players spawn is insane i mean i could be across the map aiming down safe with a sniper rifle and i can watch one two three four people just spawning in and running like they're just like they're spiders or something it's crazy and you can just pick them off there's no there's no like um a delay when it comes to invulnerability frames or anything like that like you can literally watch people spawn and snipe them watch them spawn snipe them and it's not even just with a sniper it's close range i've spawned in and it's not even like i'm spawning spawning in on a teammate or anything like that it's just I'm spawning at a, a flag and it'll spawn me outside of the building and I'll have there'd be enemies just standing right there and they just gun me down it, it, it's insane the spawns need a ton of work on ground war um, I feel like the really long ranges of the ground war maps really shows the difference between projectile and hit scan and it's kind of ugly for one from what I'm seeing um, the really long ranges for ground war just don't really work with a lot of the guns in my opinion um, it just it feels very inconsistent it feels like you're constantly spawning and dying there's so much going on um, so yeah ground war for me it, it's a great it looks great on paper but I really just I gave it a ton of tries I jumped into tons of ground wars with teammates without teammates 
I just couldn't really have fun ever. Like I could just never have fun in a ground war. So I don't know if I'm not camping enough. I don't know what the deal is. Um, but yeah, I'm just not having fun in ground war I, again. It, it's, it looks good. It could be good if they improve it, but as of right now, I don't like it. Um, non-lethal vehicles are also way too rare. Like ATVs, there needs to be way more ATVs considering how big the maps are. I mean, these maps are massive. They're literally huge. And you know, if they expect you to cross the map uh, in a reasonable amount of time to play the objective, then you need to have way more ATVs. They need to spawn in more frequently because there's just, it's not fun running for literally a minute and a half, like just running and you probably will get sniped from a random mountaintop or something. So yeah, ground war, not a fan, really, really does not play well. Next, I want to talk about the maps. Now, this has been a really big thing, especially on Twitter. A lot of people are complaining about the maps. Um, personally, I don't have that big of an issue with the maps. Um, I don't mind most of them, honestly. I think the biggest trouble with the maps is how they're paired with certain game modes. I think some maps are good on some game modes and really, really bad on other game modes. So it really isn't necessarily the map itself it's just how it plays in a specific game mode I think as time goes on players are gonna hate the maps less and less even if infinity war doesn't do anything about them I think people will just learn them better and a lot of these maps aren't three lane maps which is really different from a lot of the recent call of duties players have been begging for maps that aren't three lanes and they finally got a game with a decent amount of them that aren't three lanes and everybody's complaining uh, and everyone's saying well I missed the maps from Modern Warfare 2 so infinity ward hired the people that made them and they made these ones and now everyone's complaining again so it's like really the community is never happy with the maps uh, uh, that's what this game is telling me it's like okay this is what you asked for these are the people that made it you wanted these people to make it this is exactly what you wanted and everyone's complaining personally i don't really understand it like i said um i don't have an issue with most of the maps it's just some of the game modes with the maps don't function really well and again since they're not three lane maps it's going to take way longer to learn them and i think this is something that players are really struggling with players you know with a three lane map you kind of know what to do no matter what the map looks like you kind of know where to go um and you know with this not being the case for most of the maps players just are confused and it's just taking them longer to figure out the maps and that's probably why they're not doing as well and they think they hate the maps when really i don't know if that's necessarily the case um again some of the maps are way too big for the game modes that that we're playing on them like piccadilly for free for all just seems crazy like there's so many different side buildings buildings you can go into and the courtyard is is uh you know sectioned off with the different buses and everything it just you know if you have five people in a free-for-all spawn on piccadilly you could run around for 30 45 seconds without seeing anybody it's it's kind of insane um anaya palace or anaya's palace whatever is just too big for pretty much every game mode at this point um i think 20 v 20 it makes sense but uh yeah anaya's palace is just so so big and m it most of the time it's not fun to play on strictly because you're going to be running for so long i mean seriously try playing headquarters on anaya palace it's just it's stupid like you have to go so far it's it's just not fun yeah again there's only a few three lane maps and i think personally it gives it that modern warfare feel because you can kind of go up in different buildings different corners different areas um but this is apparently polarizing for the community i don't know i don't mind it again but a lot of people are complaining about it on twitter i think if we give it a little bit of time it'll be fine but people like to jump the gun next thing is weapon balance this is really crucial for any first person shooter especially call of duty in the last few years um i personally like how the guns are balanced um i don't think that at this moment there's one specific gun that is dominating every single game um which is really really good that is really good news uh and i think it's because of a, a couple of different reasons one the time to kill is very fast um it's definitely faster than the black ops 4 it's probably 50 percent or or a hundred percent faster than black ops 4 which is insane and um with that being said it feels like modern warfare 2 it feels like modern warfare 3 where guns just kill like they just instantly kill people um i don't know it might not be as fast as modern warfare 2 maybe it is it depends um i, I want to talk about headshot multiplier in a minute but that plays into a, a big factor on the time to kill um but yeah with the weapon balance attachments for your guns are the most crucial thing and i think this with the fast time to kill is what makes the game feel balanced at least at this moment um you're killing people fast and you can make a gun so versatile with all of the different attachment options that really any gun is somewhat viable i mean there's a couple of guns that i think kind of fall short um a lot of the handguns are sec as secondaries are really really weak um but you know overall i think most of the guns are relatively balanced because of the fast time to kill and the fact that you can put on a ton of really good attachments now that headshot multiplier is a little bit insane if for some guns you can two shot kill and these are guns that fire really fast you can hip fire them 
Um, I don't know how I feel about that. The headshot multiplier, it's just, you people get deleted, right? And the time to kill is already fast. The net code feels very, very poor, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, and so the headshot multiplier just feels like an extra layer of just cheesy deaths. And it's really frustrating when you are pre-aiming around a corner, you have a UAV, you know an enemy is coming, you can hear them sprinting so you know that they're going to be caught off guard. And as soon as they turn the corner, um, you get a hit marker and they get a headshot and that's it. You lose the gunfight. It's super frustrating. Um, so that definitely needs to be worked on. I think as far as claymores go, this is another thing when it comes to weapon balance a claymore i would consider a weapon it is a, a lethal um it needs to be nerfed um claymores are broken i mean you can't even fake out a claymore like you know walk in front of it and then walk back behind a corner you can't do that in this game like as soon as you cross it you're dead you're dead not even it's one frame you're dead no no option um you have to use eod the first perk eod you have to use it no question you have to use that perk if you're going to move around the map in any capacity you need eod on just just because the claymores are absolutely like no question right like i don't think the, the developers have to know at this point that they're broken like it's been a couple of days nobody's using grenades it's just they're so good they need a nerf no like that's not even an opinion I'm, I'm convinced another good thing is that guns work in their respective ranges right which is really really important if you look at games like black ops 3 you could use the vmp across the map um you know this is not the case for modern warfare i think ARs function really good at medium range and somewhat good medium to long range, whereas some machine guns can work medium range, but they also work really well close range. The shotguns are uncontested at point blank range, like for sure, absolutely lethal. So I think it's really good that the guns are relatively balanced within their respective categories. And that's really, really important. Another cool thing about this is that it makes overkill a viable perk, which is really cool. I've been running a class with a submachine gun primary and a sniper rifle secondary and it seems to work really well um it gives me an option for close and medium range engagements and it also gives me an option for long range engagements and i don't feel like i'm trading overkill for something else that's even more powerful so i like that i like that you can use two primaries and you don't feel like you're at a huge disadvantage i'm gonna lump kill streaks in with weapon balance because really we're, we're talking about uh game balance at this point um kill streaks are strong and i think this is a good thing i think good kill streaks are something that i've been advocating advocating for for like three or four years now cod was fun back in modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 because the kill streaks were super powerful if you went on a kill streak and you got some really powerful rewards for it you just had a blast you did really fun um so overall i'm really glad to see that the kill streaks are not only powerful but they're not super hard to get right like you it's reasonable to expect um an eight kill streak every once every, once every couple of games with that being said i think the vtol is actually a little bit overpowered at this point um it's really hard to shoot down and it's only an eight kill streak uh, I don't know it like I said it's really big so you can hit it with bullets but it takes it's got one flare and then it also takes like three rockets and I just think that's that's just a lot right it's just super powerful um especially if you're already in a spawn trap the VTOL is just gonna seal the deal so that's the one kill streak that personally for the amount of kills that it is and for what it's doing um, I think it needs to be nerfed a little bit maybe three rockets to kill it with no flare or maybe one flare and two rockets I don't know but besides that the kill streaks so far have seemed pretty much balanced uh, the fact that UAV and counter UAV are now polar opposites meaning you can't run both is good I think that's good because that gives a little bit more room to breathe a little bit more wiggle room at, with what you can pick pretty much the last four Call of Duties you basically needed to run UAV and counter counter UAV because information on the map is the most crucial part of the game um but with this you're forced to pick which i think is interesting i like that uh some players may not like that but for me i think that's cool finally let's talk about some more gameplay experience aspects of modern warfare um being able to hear enemy footsteps is amazing i can be confident knowing what direction an enemy is coming from if it's silent which is my next big point most game modes are way too loud not only do you have the actual characters talking to you you have music you have explosions you have kill streaks and then you have map noise and that you have uh player footsteps you have footsteps of your teammates most game modes are way too loud to effectively use the footstep noise um the exception to this is search and destroy cyber attack these game modes 
you really can use uh, volume footstep volume which is good i think it's most important for those game modes anyway but it would be nice to play tdm or free for all and know where my enemies are coming from because i can hear them just stomping like rhinos down a hallway but unfortunately there's so much other noise that most of the time it's not useful and this is only made worse by the fact that dead silence isn't uh, a perk it's actually it's one of the field upgrades which means that you have to earn it over time and even though it does charge quickly it it also goes away relatively quickly and you have to think about turning it on and then you know it's i don't know it just it's it's a decent solution to the problem but i feel like there's other better field orders that you're going to be using which basically forces you to not have dead silence ever which leaves us with the problem the next thing is is the net code for the game or the servers or whatever i don't know much about um network engineering or anything like that so i can't really say with full confidence um i've been told that the servers are running at 60 hertz which i don't know if i believe that but it seems to be the case but it just the netcode feels like garbage. It feels worse than any other Call of Duty in recent me memory. I am getting instantly dead, instantly deleted almost every single death. And this should not be the case in a first person shooter. Um, and I, I get that there's a fast time to kill, but there's a difference between a fast time to kill and dying in two to three frames, right? Like you literally, when I see an enemy, I can't even fully pull my gun up to ADS before I'm dead. And if I go through my recordings and I look back, I'm dying almost virtually instantaneously. There's literally nothing you can do. Um, and it's instances where we're both caught off guard, right? It's not like they were pre-firing or whatever. Like it's literally getting deleted. And there's no other explanation for this other than just the servers or the netcode or something like that. I, and I know I hate, you know, scapegoating something like, oh, it's, I'm not bad at the game. It's, it's this, you know, coding. It was like, but this is, this is real. Like this is actually real. Anybody who's played the game for an extended period of time, feels this way they they can see that they're getting absolutely deleted and i think this problem needs to be fixed very quick because players are not going to uh want to play a game like this for more than two to three months like it's just not gonna hold up people are gonna get up uh they're gonna get fed up really really quick i'm also having issues with hit, hit detection um i haven't really heard other players having this issue but i it's definitely not a feeling i've definitely recorded instances and, and seen especially on stream where I'm streaming so I'm playing the game and then on this monitor I have my stream up so I can see it after a delay and there's a lot of issues with my hit detection especially with pistols and sniper rifles and I know like those are the ones that require the best aim so you could just say oh Omni Arc you're just bad at aiming but I'm literally watching me miss shots where I'm on point so I, I don't know for me I'm having issues with it Infinity Ward has been good with this in the past but I maybe it's just the fact that you know we move from hit scan to actually projectiles i don't know um but there's a ton of instances where i'm using a pistol and i'm just one two three like all my bullets are missing and i'm on target so for me i, I don't know if you guys are having this issue i would love for you to tell me if you are because i want to see how many people are having this problem but i'm i am personally having issues with hit detection my ps4 is hardwired into my router i have a hundred uh i usually run around uh 75 download and 60 upload but i have upwards of 100 100 so my connection is good my ping is good it's usually around an eight millisecond so i don't know what the issue is other than it must be something to do with the servers or how the game is coded i don't know and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if that were the issue because there is a bug in the game at the time of recording this where it is just not showing your ping properly it's just it's just showing you the wrong number so there's something going on there i don't know what it is um but hopefully they fix it soon and finally uh right now there are no microtransactions in the game which is perfect and i know this is not going to last they're going to implement the seasonal battle pass system which is going to be a premium upgrade you're going to have to buy um, the, the better version of the battle pass and it's gonna be multiple seasons so there's gonna be other ways to spend your money on this game of course but if infinity ward fixes the few things that i've mentioned in this video i actually wouldn't mind spending money on this game i'm having enough fun with multiplayer to where i want my character to look cool i want a cool calling card i want a cool emblem i want a special camo for my gun or something i will spend money on this game i said it i'll do it i'm okay with it I will do that i don't want to see guns that are overpowered put in the battle pass i don't want to see that i want to see cosmetic only i want to see them fix the issues with the game that the community is, is having and if the game is really fun and it lasts more than a month or two months i will spend money on microtransactions i i'm, I'm cool with it this game is good enough to where i would actually do that and i and i haven't said that in years i haven't said that since black ops 3 right so 
that's how I'm feeling right now. I overall am having a good time with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I think with the multiplayer being pretty good, better than the last um, three Call of Duties that we've had, I personally think it's definitely hands down better than black ops 4 world war 2 and infinite warfare like no question like i don't even have to think about that some players may disagree but i personally like no question this game is better in terms of multiplayer and the fact that the overall vast majority of the community is enjoying the campaign mode i personally think that this game is worth picking up i really do um and that's the first time that i can wholeheartedly say on launch week i feel confident saying that this game is actually good um black ops 4 was all hype right because it had the battle royale and it was the successor to black ops 3 which everybody loved um same with world war 2 it had the hype of going back to world war 2 you know these games there was hype around them and then they didn't deliver this game had some hype around it and i do feel like it mostly delivered i i personally am enjoying it so yeah i think the game is good enough to buy at least at this moment um this is subject to change if a lot of these issues aren't fixed and they implement a predatory battle pass system that has broken weapons and things like that then yeah maybe my opinion will change but as it stands right now things are looking good for modern warfare which is not something that i expected to say um, a lot of people are giving me hate for my cancel your pre-order video, which is funny. It's fine. I, I, I actually am loving seeing the comments over there, but um, I didn't really expect to be this impressed with the game. Despite all the flaws, it's still mostly good, and I'm still confident in saying that it's better than the last three Call of Duties we've gotten. So that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below telling me what you think about Modern Warfare. Are you having fun? Are you not having fun? If you haven't already, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe, and ring that bell. Social media links are all in the description below, as well as my Discord, which if you end up joining, we can party up and play together. Crossplay is amazing in this game. It works flawlessly. I'm happy about that. Um, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.